Okay, so we're up to looking at carboxylic acids. Um, now we looked at how carboxylic acids can be prepared when we talked about um, alcohols and the oxidation of alcohols because if you oxidize a primary alcohol you get an aldehyde and then carboxylic acid and that's pretty much how our carboxylic acids are prepared or how you need to know that they're prepared. Okay, so if you heat a primary alcohol with some acidified dichromate solution like we looked at before, you will get a carboxylic acid. Okay, so the next thing we need to go through is carboxylic acids and how they ionize in water. Okay, now ionization is a reaction in which substances react to form an ionic product. Okay, so if you put a carboxylic acid which is a weak acid um, into water, and it has to be soluble in water, it will partially ionize to give you hydronium ions and carboxylate ions. Okay, so what does that look like? Well, all right, we have to have a carboxylic acid. Look at something small that's soluble in water, like ethanoic acetic acid, ethanoic acid, something like that. We add it to water, which is in the liquid state. Now this can be, um, a solid or a liquid, it doesn't really matter. This is an equilibrium reaction. We'll talk about what that means in a minute. We get some hydronium ions and we get RC double O, okay? The carboxylate ion. Okay, these are aqueous. All right, so this is ionization in water because Our reactants are reacting to form ionic products, positive hydronium ions and negative carboxylate ions. Now this is a pretty straightforward reaction, um, so you should be able to remember it pretty easily. Now if we look at a neutralization reaction of a carboxylic acid, Let's look at that next.